Alvarez had an issue with Man City. He doesn't get to play uh, play most of the games. Every time he comes into the game, he is coming in from the substitution bench, often to replace Haaland. When Haaland is not at his best, that is when we bring Alvarez. If Haaland is injured, that's when we bring uh, Alvarez. So if Haaland is playing most of the time, that means Alvarez don't get to play uh, most of the games. And this is something that has been worrying him for some time. So Atletico Madrid came to his rescue. They have come to buy Alvarez for a sum of 95 million what, euros from Man City. And Man City have agreed. Man City bought Alvarez for a sum of 14 million euros from the Argentina side River Plate in 2022. And if you look at Alvarez, he has won two Premier League titles the FA Cup, the Champions League, the Super Cup, the Club World Cup with Man City. He has also won the World Cup and Copa America back to back with what? Argentina. So he's a young guy, but he's a dangerous uh, forward. And he has a lot of potential in front of him. I'm sure that when he goes to Atletico Madrid, he'll be able to pair up with Griezmann to what? Challenge, uh, be challenged with Real Madrid. After Barca, we don't want to talk much about them. The real focus is on what Real Madrid. So, Atletico Madrid bringing uh, Alvarez on board is a very good move. Right now, I just left with Alvarez to what agree to personal terms with Atletico Madrid and also sign that five-year deal with Atletico Madrid. So this is the news, guys. Alvarez is is now or will soon be an Atletico Madrid player and you have enough playing time and he will stop being a substitute for a key player. He will get to play more. So I'm just, I'm just hoping that as he goes over there, he will not go and flop. But he will do quite well. He will do quite well. My name is Patrick. My name is Patrick and if you like this sports update, I will encourage you to what, subscribe to my channel and become part of this community. Thank you.